What's up YouTube, Jefferson here with Sumigang Productions and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Kodi on your Apple computer. I'm using my MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina if you guys are wondering and the firmware I'm running the latest Mac OS Sierra. Let me show you real quick. Boom! So Mac OS Sierra version 10.12. Alright open your preferred internet browser i'm using google chrome it honestly doesn't really matter and just type in kodi in your search box and it should be the first link right here so just click downloads it will take you directly to the downloads list so you don't have to worry about where to locate it or click any other links scroll down and you guys could see it's pretty much compatible with a lot of different platforms Windows 10, Linux, Mac OS X, Android, iOS, you do have to be jailbroken, Raspberry Pi, uh, sorry, Raspberry Pi and other devices. Since this video is for Mac OS X, just click installer and this will automatically download the app for your computer. So just wait for this to finish and once it's done, we'll open it up. Perfect. It just finished downloading. Now just click this and you can close your internet browser you don't need that anymore all right so it should pop up this window right here all you have to do is drag and drop this Kodi application into your application folder drag and drop that is it wait for it to transfer over and that's it that's it's so simple we do need to install a few respiratory files in Kodi so we're not quite done double click the application so we could open it up right click on Kodi and click open this will bypass the unidentified developers list if you guys don't have that one checked then you only have the app store checked on so here it is right here it's showing that it's unidentified and we downloaded it from the internet so just click open all right once Kodi is opened up now we need to install Exodus in here and the reason why I rather prefer installing Exodus compared to other respiratory Files is because it's a lot more reliable compared to using other respiratories, but it's all personal preference We're just going to install Exodus first go all the way to the end where it says system just hover over it I'm using my arrow keys right now just so it's a little bit more precise and my computer is running a little slow just because I'm running screen capture in the background. But it's not going to be this slow for you guys. Go under File Manager, click Enter. And right here, this is where you want to add the respiratory. So go under Add Source. Perfect. And right here, you want to click on where it says None. And right here, make sure you type exactly what I type. So type in HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash fusion F U S I O N dot T V add ons A D D O N S dot A G. Click on done. And right here where it says enter the name of this media source, click on that. Type in fusion, all lowercase, F-U-S-I-O-N, and click on done again. Click OK. And there's a few ways to actually go through it. I'm going to show you the first way, and the first way usually never really works on me, but it might work on you, so I'm just going to show you two methods. The second method is the one that works on me. Click on the home button right here now click on system click add-ons now click install from zip if you can't find it and this is the screen that you guys see scroll all the way up until you see the two dots like this click on that click on it one more time until you don't see two dots and click install from zip file now underneath desktop it might be different for you guys but just find where it's a red book or a red disk and click fusion and click start here and click on plugin.program.addon installer and whatever the firmware is 
Click on that and now you want to wait for the add-on enabled notification. There you go. So add-on installer. So the add-on updated. And the way to know that you have it installed, click on the home button right here. And go all the way to videos and click on add-ons. Click get more. And now you want to scroll down. Oh, sorry. Scroll down until you get to the E's because this is in alphabetical order. And right here, oh, it actually appears right here. So Exodus is right here. If for whatever reason it's not there, I'm actually really surprised it popped up. If it's not there, go back to the home button and go back to the system. Click on system and click on add-ons. Click install from zip. So same exact method, but there's going to be a slight tweak towards the end. All right, there you go. Go up. Perfect. And then one more time. And from here, click install from zip file. Click on fusion again. And instead of clicking start here, what you want to do is you want to click on XBMC dash repo, which is this one. Click on English and scroll down until you see respiratory.exodus slash whatever the firmware is. Click enter and you want to install that. Wait for the Exodus respiratory add-on update, which is right here. And that is it. Go to the home screen. Go to videos. Add-ons. Click get more. And look for Exodus. And Exodus is right here. Click on it and you want to click on install because you do still need to install the respiratory. And that's pretty much it. After it's done downloading, you're able to stream TV shows, movies, and pretty much whatever you want. Don't take my word for this. There's a lot of different misconceptions out there. However, I'm going to give you guys my opinion of Exodus and my thoughts of pretty much this whole thing. Is it legal or is it illegal? My thoughts is streaming itself is not illegal. It's absolutely legal in my opinion. And whenever you upload something, into the internet that's where it becomes illegal so let's say let's click on exodus right here you guys could see it pulls up any movies or tv shows for the sake of our conversation just click on movies and click on in theater just so we have an example and whatever movie that pops up first let's say okay so the magnificent seven if you were to stream this through Exodus or any platform on the internet, it should technically be legal because you're not uploading anything. However, once you start uploading this to any platform, so for example, if you upload this on Exodus, YouTube, uh, Mega Share or whatever, whatever media platform out there, that's where you are breaking the law. But streaming itself, I don't think it is and there's a lot of other sites out there that back that up and obviously there's a lot of sites out there that doesn't so this is where it's in the movie theater still I'm not going to go through this just because I'll make a dedicated video going through this that's pretty much it that's how you install Exodus in Kodi this will work if you guys have a TV box as well so if you don't have Exodus in your TV box Follow that platform because that's exactly what I did. If you have any questions or comment, guys, put them in the comment box below. I'll try my best to answer any questions you may have. If you like this video or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. And before we end this, click on add-ons under the videos. And let's go back real quick. 
Exodus should always be right here unless you download other stuff. You could even add this onto your favorites. So if you want to just get there a little quicker, you're able to do that, obviously. So when you go to the home button and you have your favorites right here, click on that and it should just pop up right there. Boom. All right, guys. Have a good day.